Next speaker, Mr. Peter McDonald, Chairman of America's Indian Tribe, the Navajo Nation. Thank you very much, um, Mayor Sawyer, members of the National Task Force, and also members of Congress who are here. First of all, I want to thank, commend, and congratulate Mayor Sawyer for establishing this task force. Certainly, there cannot be any more important priority for our nation's policymakers to focus on than the well-being of our next generation. If we do not act now to deal with the problems of the next generation, this nation will be in deep trouble. As chairman of the nation's largest Indian tribe in America, the Navajo Nation, I have more than a casual interest in these issues. Navajo is a nation of over 200,000 members living on a piece of land the size of the state of West Virginia. Most importantly, the average age of our population on the reservation is 18 years of age. And that's the age group that we are talking about when we talk about the next generation. And fully, 50% of our population is under 21 years of age. Thus, it is absolutely essential that we create opportunity for our young people at Navajo and on many Native American reservations. If we do not, we will lose our next generation of Navajos and the idleness that drives abuse and dependency on alcohol and drugs will continue unabated. In this respect, the Navajo Nation confronts the same issues as does any other state municipality or local government in the United States. So it's, it's really an exciting uh, uh, assignment. Uh, I take this very seriously because I certainly believe that we need to do this, not just for the poor, but for all members of the next generation, whether they come from poor families in the cities or rural, but for those who come from uh, uh, affluent, rich family as well. Children who are trying to make it, stay away from drugs and stay away from alcohol, try to remain in school. There need to be a, a program or a consciousness on the part of America to deal with these young people as well. Thank you very much.